Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sweets and in this episode I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how I made this haunted house Halloween cake. It is a little less spooky than the last cake I made which was super gory. So if you want to learn how to make this cake, keep on watching. So to begin with, I am rolling out some white fondant quite thinly and I'm going to cover my 7 inch cake with it. So I'm just going to grab the fondant and just lay it over the cake and then just use my uh, fondant smoother to um, smooth everything out. Do your best to not have any seams on this cake because you're going to paint over it so definitely um, make it smooth or as smooth as you can and then just pop that out of the way so that you can get started on your board. So I just have the same white fondant, I'm laying it across my board and I am using a 7 inch um, cake uh, circle to... Um, trace out whatever size the cake is going to be because I'm not going to need that fondant underneath and if we can save it and use it later why not so just go ahead and cut that out and then use your knife to cut off all the excess Once that's done, take your cake and then pop it right on top of the um, circle that you cut out and then you're ready to decorate. Now for my inspiration, I found these um, mason jar decorations on Google and this is what I'm going to use to um, decorate the cake. Um, this is the, the theme that I was going for. So I just have some pink air, um, airbrush food color in my airbrush machine and I'm just going to spray the bottom of the cake and then using some purple I am going to spray the top. Take your time with this, just go a little bit at a time. Um, definitely blend the colors a little bit more than just um, adding stripes of pink and then stripes of purple because you want it to look like a night, like a a sunset if you will um, once you're done with that just go ahead and start working on your Sun and you're just going to get a white fondant roll it out thinly then use a four inch circle cutter and cut it out then spray paint it yellow and then using some orange just spray paint the sides because when you look at the Sun when it's setting it's not just one color it kind of has different hues to it so once you're happy with how it looks you can go ahead and start working on your um, creepy house now there's no right or wrong way to do this if you check out my Elmo cake I show you how I use a template to cut out um, fondant so definitely check that out but really all you can um, all you need to do is just stick the paper that you've traced your picture on a piece of fondant and then using an exacto blade just cut off anything you don't want to show. And then once I am happy with how my um, house looks, I am going to just remove the um, parchment paper and then reveal the creepy house. Make sure you cut out all the windows and um, all the well the door <laughs> and I just googled an image of a creepy house and then just use that now once I'm happy with how it looks I am going to pop it onto my uh, cake plate again and I'm going to spray paint it black I could have just used black fondant but I was lazy and the airbrush machine was right next to me so I decided to take advantage uh, let it cool well not cool let it dry completely before you touch it because the black is just gonna stick to your fingers and you don't want that add on a little bit of water to your Sun and then pop the um, castle or haunted mansion on top of it and then using a um, brush like a paintbrush just brush on some water onto your cake and then pop the Sun there then I am using some black food coloring and I'm just going to go over the bottom um, you want to do this very very slowly do not be tempted to just go in with the black and make it opaque right away it's just gonna be blotchy and it's not gonna look airbrushed and clean and pretty um, so resist the temptation to go faster be patient 
So now the fun part begins. I was seriously freaking out over making this, but once I got started, it actually was so easy to make. Like I couldn't believe it. These are the branches of my trees. And all I'm using is a very, very thin um, brush. And I'm just going to use that to um, kind of make the branches of the tree. So I'm just dipping that into the straight up black food coloring that I've diluted with some vodka and then I'm just making squiggly lines. That was my tree. So there's no right or wrong way to do it if actually it turns out crazy and looks <laughs> creepy. The more the better. I mean you could just say that you wanted it to look that way and no one will know. So just go ahead and make your tree trunk and then continue putting branches until you're happy with how full the tree looks. You don't want it to be super full because you want it to look dead and kind of, um, you know, all the leaves have fallen off of it pretty much. So take your time and make it how, however you want it to look. So there you go, this is the first tree. So just go ahead and continue making, um, you know, all the designs around the cake. Right now I'm just making a little bat and then I'm going to make the other tree on the other side. I'm just gonna fast forward through um, these parts so that you do not get bored to death but you still get to see the process of making it. I originally wanted to leave it with just these two trees but I mean once you get started if you know anything about decorating like once you get started the artist and you just want to keep going so I decided to add some mountains and this is my this is what mountains look like in my head guys <laughs> oh and I added a creepy swing to this tree because I figured this house would be haunted by a creepy kid and yeah there's always that creepy swing in the scary movies. Do you guys ever notice this or is it just me? So side note, I actually do not like scary movies like at all. I, I don't, mm -mm, I don't do them. I remember when I was making the um, clown head cake, I had to google clown head guys. Like don't do it, don't do this to yourself. Like it is the scariest thing you will ever see on google. Like no joke. <laughs> Um, so right now I am making the witch coming home from sucking children's souls. Um, have you guys seen Hocus Pocus? When I was a child, I I hated that movie. Oh my god, it was it would scare me so much. I hated it. So yeah, I don't like scary movies, as you can tell. <laughs> so right now I'm just adding some creepy grass, and this is a family of zombies. It just looks like stick figures, but they're supposed to be zombies. <laughs> And then just add in more crows flying and then the entry to your house and you're done. Once I was done with painting over the cake, I wanted to make a little witch hat. So all I did is I rolled up a, a piece of black fondant in my hand and then kind of flatten out the bottom. And then I'm using my fingers to pinch it um, and form it until it looks like the floppy part of the witch's hat. And then just use your knife or whatever you need um, to make it more um, pronounced. And then pinch, you know, the little parts just so that it could look like it's has movement to it then I just have a um, piece of um, ivory colored fondant that I'm going to roll out into a thin little sausage and add it to the hat then I'm using my paintbrush to make the little buckle there you go. So I wasn't happy with how dark the cake looked so I went in again with my airbrush machine and darkened it up a little bit and then started adding my um, letters. I spelled out Happy Halloween. Now you can use whatever letter cutter cutters or um, um, fondant um, 
tools that you have but I had these molds that were kind of like Halloween or spooky letters I'm going to link it for you guys below if I can find it again because I bought it a really long time ago um, but this is what it looks like so once I was done I'm just going to use a hot glue gun to um, glue my ribbon at the bottom Now once my ribbon was glued on, I'm just going to cut off the excess and then there you go. This is the final result guys. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know you did enjoy it and share it with all your friends and family. Um, you definitely can interchange the colors. I've seen it with um, blue and black like for the sunset so it'll look pretty either way. So anyway, check out my last video you guys if you click on this annotation right over there. My socials are at Janie Sweets. You can find me on Instagram as well as on Facebook and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so because lots more videos are coming your way. Love you guys. I'll talk to you next time.